The latest report by the International Labour Organization stated that more than 400 million jobs have been lost worldwide in the second quarter of 2020. This is a result of a sharp drop of 14% in global working hours. This is, however, a massive jump from the earlier estimations. The International Labour Organization in May estimated around 305 million jobs of loss due to the pandemic. And the unfortunate conclusion is that the number of working hours lost in the first half of 2020 was in fact significantly greater than we had previously estimated. Uh, to, to put some numbers uh, to that, um, our estimate, our revised estimate launched today is that the drop in global working time relative to the last quarter of 2019 that is to say the pre-pandemic period, that um, global fall in working hours was 14%, uh, which comes out as the equivalent of 400 million full-time job losses, this based on a 48-hour working week. For the fourth quarter, the International Labour Organization estimated that around 4.9% of working hours or 140 million jobs would be lost. However, if the current scenario continues, this figure could rise to 11.9% or 340 million jobs in a possible second wave of the outbreak. This new report by the UN body depicts the worsening economic situation in most of the developed economies. Almost 93% of workers continue to live in countries with some sort of business closure due to the ongoing crisis. This is a sharp increase on our previous estimate, which we'd issued on the 27th of May, so almost exactly a month ago, where we had estimated a drop of 10.7%, uh, which would give a, a loss of jobs full time of 305 million. So you will see that the uh, estimates uh, have revised upwards considerably the damage done to our labor markets by the pandemic. Now, this uh, new estimate reflects worsening conditions in many regions, especially in developing countries. And we see that the greatest loss of all in the second quarter is in the Americas. According to the International Labour Organization, returning to pre-pandemic job levels in the year 2020 will be a difficult task. However, the report also stresses that the outcome and recovery from the pandemic will depend on its future trajectory and government policy choices. Figures that we're publishing today show...